Well, I found myself a 200 gallon battering ram and a door that says exit. This seems like a pretty good escape plan. Oh, all right. You know what? I, I tried to do things the subtle way. I wanted to just slither out the poop pipes, but no, they wouldn't let me. So instead, I guess we're just going to have to do things a little bit more aggressively. Oh, Greg. Trust me. Oh, Greg. Oh, oh no. Oh. Yeah. I said that was a whole lot of water. And I said that Greg would get his. What's up guys, welcome back to I Am Fish, where you really don't need to be an aquatic animal to have a bad feeling about what's going on here. Like some of you guys may remember that when we last left off, we had finally done it. We reached the ocean, we had escaped mankind to be reunited, and then immediately captured once again. Now I don't know if they're gonna toss us into a tank and make us pets again, or if they're gonna toss us into a grinder and make us pet food this time, but I do know that one way or another, this is the end of our journey. Uh, today, I'm either gonna take over the world or die trying. Okay, well, the good news is we're not Meow Mix, but the bad news is we're in an aquarium, which is like the one place that's professionally designed to imprison fish. And I don't even have my fish family around me. They separated us once again, that's just great. So instead I've got a whole bunch of lumpy headed cellmates that are clearly not gonna be any help in getting out of here. Hey Greg, I feel the need to point out that there are no conjugal visits in this prison, all right? You're either gonna get me out of here because of the kindness of your heart, or you're more likely gonna suffer the consequences. I have no doubt we're gonna do him dirty before the end of the episode. And I don't mean a fish job, get your mind out of the Gutter. Ooh. All right, that looks kind of promising. Maybe we can wiggle our way through here. Yeah, don't worry, fish family, I'm coming. Possibly. I don't know why I'm always going left. Left is never right. Yeah, you see, right is always right. Fingers and fins crossed, we don't end up in a toilet. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna consider this best case scenario. It looks like we landed in some kind of fish lab. I mean, God or fish God, whoever's listening to me right now, I don't know if I already used my one time on the whole no toilet thing, but if this could be a breeding lab in instead of a dissection lab, I would really appreciate it. It would help if I could get my little fish dick wet right about now. It's times like these, I really wish the game was called I Am Pole Vaulter and not I Am Fish. <laughs> like, I, I get it. The whole point of this place is though that fish can't just jump out and escape. But at the same time, I still feel like I need to write a strongly worded letter to somebody. Well, hello there, my slow-witted compatriot. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to squeak on past you without either of us falling off the edge, okay? I, I, I don't wanna doom anyone oh yeah this guy coming up has got it way worse but i am a man of the people a fish of the people i'm a fish of the fish you know, uh, even a dumb fish deserves to be a free fish that's the platform that i'm going to use the policy that i'm going to put in place once i become emperor of this world <laughs> okay careful i see a tank i see a tank full of friends oh i'm coming guys don't worry the smarts are arriving that is the group dynamic, right? Like, am I reading into that correctly? We got puffer fish who can move stuff, flying fish who has great mobility, toothy fish who can rip things apart, and then goldfish who's just kind of there. Doesn't have any real special ability, but I think he's the smartest of the bunch. And he did signal everybody to get back together. I suppose that's worth something. Hey, oh wait. Okay, well, we got Puffer fish, but I don't recognize these other dipshits. Dude, okay, I get it. I know you're happy to see me, but can you please get those pair of DSLs off me? The other fish are looking. I think I've got an idea, but I wouldn't say it's a good one. So give me a smooch for good luck, because we're gonna try something like this, which is debatable, but if everything goes 
according to plan, then we found our friends. No? Oh, I see. All right, we, we could do a little, there we go. And then we could switch back to Goldie and teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> All right. So now that we've made our way into another tank, we can go down through here. Uh, hold on, you, you can come with. Yeah, follow, follow along, follow the leader. I'm still worried about showing up in a toilet. <laughs> like I know Andy Dufresne technically crawled through a river of shit to get to freedom, but uh, well, he didn't have to swim up a stranger's butthole in a public bathroom, so let's just say that uh, my trials and tribulations are a whole lot more difficult than his. Hello, friends? Anybody around? Nobody. Just more Greg, you slack-jawed idiot. <laughs> Will you do something? Oh no, this isn't good. There's only one door and, and Puffy needs to hold it. So I need to leave him behind. I'll come back for you. Okay, I promise Greg will keep an eye on you. Maybe, possibly. Can I even get through this? I think I need him to get through this. So how am I supposed to get out of here? Oh, that's really clever. Teamwork makes the dream work. Now you should have enough space to squeak on through and help us with this thing. You're the one who's got all the power behind your swim. Maybe we could do a little something like, uh, there we go. <laughs> all right, genius. Hey, Goldie, I, I don't suppose you want to stop eating my poop for a second and come up with another great idea of how to get through this. It, it looks like it's just, oh. Okay, no, it turns out they're incredibly weak. Greg, how are you moving around so quickly? Oh, we found Julie Fish. <laughs> okay, well, three down. One to go, and now we've got all the abilities in the world. We can open doors, and I'm sure we're gonna need to rip something down. There we go, come here, you. Uh, get, there we go. Uh, oh, and you can uh, maybe pull this over here a little bit. Come on, come on, there we go, beautiful. That, uh, that's gonna work, right? Yeah, we got a little bit of room to squeak on through, so you can go in. And then Puffy can go in. We're good to go. Puffy, I think we just found our ticket out of here and you're gonna have to go get it. Hopefully I have enough power in my bounce to move this door. Can you, there we go. Okay, perfect. That's open now. Can you guys please get out of the way? This is not part of the whole teamwork, dream work thing. Just, just move. I can't do anything with these two idiots just chasing me around from the ass. There we go. Okay, now roll. Roll, roll, roll. You don't have a whole lot of time. It gets awful dry, awful quick. It's at a full sink. I'll take it. I really need you two idiots to just hang out, like, right over here, okay? Just chill. Puffy will be by with the ride in just a moment. Then we'll find flying fish, and we'll all fly the fuck out of here. I just gotta do my best to make sure everybody can get in this one bucket and hopefully we don't all try to steer it at the same time. Sweet Jesus. That's the thing. They're smart for fish, which is like being, uh, I don't know, a very inquisitive potato. <laughs> Come on now. One at a time. You guys can do this. It's a, it's a very small jump. You don't need to get in your way. Just This, this is gonna be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Come on. Come on, there, oh, there's one. Now Toothy, nobody is left to bug you. Easily just flop. We're good, we're great, we're beautiful. Now, flying fish. Where are you? Like, like he's gonna answer. Steady inclines are not our strong suit, but I'm seeing some stuff around here that we may want to investigate. This looks dangerous. I'm all for doing damage to this place. We could maybe park under it ish and then get toothy on the job does that look like the kind of thing you want to spin or the kind of thing you want to break Which I'm sure he could technically do both just to it up and there we go good now rip rip it there we go beautiful <laughs> that should do something are we gonna flood the whole room I guess it's only a matter of time all right then we really did not need this bucket for all that long. You, you can put 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 the valve down. It, it's fine, Toothy. Okay, I, I know you've got a bit of a vendetta, but let's just move. Come on, 
move. Oh my God, I constantly forget how the controls of this game want to make me gargle chainsaws. Ooh. Okay, yeah, you know what? You should be coming over here. We've got some doors. Leave Goldie, he'll figure things out on his own, I'm sure. Let's raise this up. Or not, maybe it's like a, a locking one? No. We'll raise the water a little bit higher, I guess. I'm all over it. They've got great signage in this place. Just go and tear it all down. There we go. All right, so more water is better. Typical fish life, that should raise up. Goldie should be having an easier time getting out of that bucket now. And we will lift. Really, you two do everything between each other. We, we don't need Goldie for all that much. Oh, some more damaging. Don't mind if I do. This is a tougher one. Oh wait, we gotta turn it. All right, fine. Guess we'll do it the civilized way. See if I can. So this one doesn't even have a valve. It's got a tube. Okay, we can explore the tube. Toothy isn't afraid of anything. He's the apex predator in this place. In all reality, they should not have a fish like him in an aquarium. I'm amazed that he was housed with other fish, unless they were food. You never know. What is going on here? Flying fish, you would better be up here. I swear to Christ. <laughs> Dude, where are you? What do we have up here? Looks like rubber duckies? What is this? Oh, oh, it, it's like some kind of floating thing that's in the way. So I need to lower this, but how would I lower the water? Oh, maybe we can like rip off the floats? The answer is to always break things, right? Can, can you just, just grab, 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 hold, come on, come on, work with, all you do is bite. You should be able to bite stuff. And like, we still got Puffy down here, like the Hodor he is, just left holding the bag. I don't know. This is a lot more complicated than I had expected, especially for a fish. With the power of all three fishy, bread-fueled brains, I think I've figured this out. So we're gonna park Goldie here, and then we're gonna go to the away team, which was a lot harder to set up than you might think, because they wanna follow each other. They just got reunited, they don't wanna be separated again. But now, we can actually turn the water back off. And that should let it drain, I guess? Then this thing should go down. Which is good, did that open up something to us? We can now go over here, we can go down here, we can raise the water back up. Okay, hold on, I'm all over it. Just just give, give, give me a second. Easier said than done when you're the size of a golf ball. Come on, you stupid valve, work with me. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now that goes back up. We can squeeze through here. We've got breads. I don't really need more bread. I feel like I'm smart enough as it is. Oh, here we go. Okay, just push this out of the way. And in we go. I guess we're just leaving the other two behind for a bit. Like, that's the thing. You gotta think about not only how to split them up, like, both, like the logistics of splitting them up, but also like, how you might want to, and making sure everybody gets back together. Hey, we found you. Okay, so that's everybody. Now we just need to figure out again how to get everyone back together. Clearly I need to get them up here somehow. Uh, this be raised? Kind of. I don't think we're gonna necessarily be able to keep it up though. Hmm. All right, Flying, you know what? It's about time you started pulling your weight. You're gonna have to find a way to get the other two up to us because clearly we need them. There's a door to be raised, therefore Puffy is required. Oh! Well, that was a whole lot easier than I had expected. All right, follow me, guys. What are the odds this actually just leads to the ocean? You think I could get that lucky? Oh, for a second, I thought it actually worked. Must stop the fish. Are you out of your mind? The one thing you're not allowed to do in an aquarium is tap on the glass. Nonetheless, punch it. Oh, I'm gonna destroy this town, just you wait. There is an awful lot of water in this tank. It'd be a mighty shame if somebody figured out a way of breaking it. <laughs> I'm willing to bet we kill him with another tsunami. I hit him with a blood tidal wave already. I don't know how the guy keeps getting back up. Like, 
<laughs> we have royally screwed him over more times than I can count. I found myself a 200 gallon battering ram and a door that says exit. This seems like a pretty good escape plan. Oh, all right. You know what? I, I tried to do things the subtle way. I wanted to just slither out the poop pipes, but no, they wouldn't let me. So instead, I guess we're just gonna have to do things a little bit more aggressively. Oh, Greg. Trust me. Oh, Greg. Oh no! Oh. Yeah. I said that was a whole lot of water. And I said that Greg would get his. I love it. Oh, are, are we? Oh, yeah, I see us. We're, we're in the wave. And are we actually destroying the town right now? It can't be that much water. No, the, the, the town is probably fine. Anybody in the streets is going to have a real bad day. But oh, no, that was that, those are cars getting swept away. <laughs> so, like, Medium bed, I guess. You know, wet siding, damp doors, lost mats, and some auto insurance issues. But, uh, oh, it's the bakery. Was the bakery. <laughs> yeah, we got our revenge. That was one thing I was really worried about. That they would get the best of us sooner rather than later. You know what I mean? Like the doctor would experiment on us or the baker would live happily ever after. But, uh... Evidently not. Okay, was was that it? I completely didn't even realize that because we destroyed the whole tank, we saved all the dumb fish too. I, I said that I would come back for them. Oh. Okay, yeah, the, the town is looking a, a little foobar. Bakery has seen better days. Oh no. I am bird coming soon? All right, you know what I think? That's gonna be it for I Am Fish, guys. I heard that there's like some kind of secret space level, which seems like a really cool concept. It would make a great thumbnail, but the level seems incredibly boring. I checked it out to see if it was worth getting like 40 pieces of bread and, and, and 40 stars. That's a whole lot of going back and playing levels that I, I don't really want to do. You know, I wanted the story. I wanted to get the fish back together. I wanted the fish family to live happily ever after and to learn more about I Am Bread and Surgeon Simulator. And like the fact that all these games tie together, it made this game so much better than I thought it would be. Like this whole franchise linking together, it just makes for some of my favorite videos on this channel. So if there does end up being an I am bird, then you know, you wanna see it, leave a like on the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to be something else again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.